Carl Black, he always creeping, isn't he? Big week this week for the Henderson team, mate. Three deals last week. Couple happening this week. And we've got our third team member joining Team Flamingo. Alright? So you just keep your eyes peeled there, alright? Club don't go anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack Henderson from <laughs> Trip. Spoke too soon, didn't he? <laughs> Take it easy, son. Bro, sorry. Sweet your sleeves, mate. Where's your fucking sleeves? And I guess if interest rates are lower, that obviously increases people's serviceability, which mm. in end means they can pay more for property, right? Yeah, exactly. And just on that, I think an interesting note, um, and a lot of buyers are coming to me at the moment saying, oh, you know, that aren't financed and say, oh, it's really hard to get finance. It's probably the easiest it's been for the last, I reckon even two years now, right. to get money. Um, you know, before they were looking at you, you know, what coffees you're having, you know, what your Telstra bill looked like. They've, they've done away with all that now. Um, and just like I said, working with, with, with those guys there, the finance brokers, they're saying, you know, they're even handing out no doc loans now, um, up to eighty percent of the value of a property. Wow, which is which is pretty good. You know, all you needed to show is look, this is what I earn, this is my income, and the banks will hand out money. Right. The deal of the century. Bring in the clients, let them know. All right. They must fucking be excited as I am. Ready. Congratulations! Well, thank you. Thank How you. exciting! Yeah, it's great. It's literally the deal of the century. Everything you do. Thank you for your help. We definitely, um, I don't think we would have gotten, I don't think we would have been looking for that particular product without your guidance. So thank you for that. No, thank you guys for trusting us. Yeah, it's, that was um, great. Honestly, it's, yeah. I've asked a lot of people and that is a very, very, very good price. What We were very fortunate that we had, I guess, an unexperienced agent in that core area. Young agent would have took our offer and worked it. He would have worked every single buyer that went through that property. What What did they do? I mean, there were so many he people He definitely there didn't do that. He, well, I mean, I didn't get a call from him. He's going to, I, I think, was, honestly, okay. there'll be a, a lot of very, very frustrated buyers. A lot of them. around this particular thing. So, you know, I'm, I'm here pushing authenticity to the world. And yet, if you're not living authentically, how can you do that? You know what I mean? So what I do you mean by living authentically? Well, if I'm gonna sit there and say, hey, you need to be able to say sorry correctly, and I do a mistake and I don't say sorry correctly, well, am I really living the truth that I'm peddling? And really try to be honest with people and tell them, look, life's not always sunshine and rose. I mean, I struggle with mental health as much as anyone, you know. I sometimes have really bad anxiety. I get stressed out. I get worried. Um, and it's about being raw with people and telling them, look, it's the human experience has these these, these poles. Yes, I'm not going to lie, 90% of my time, my life is awesome. I can't complain. But there is a period of my life which is, you know, I'm, I'm, go, I'm, I'm facing challenges. I can face them. I can overcome them. And so can you. And so, for the customer... Um, Relationships manager, okay? So this thing here. Fuck, here's some more leads here. I've got, honestly, man, like there is unlimited amount of business. But the thing is with me is I only get like, for example, so this morning I do a podcast, then from here I'll get an hour. So in that hour, I'll have 10 clients message me and say, oh, I've got all these issues. So I've got to ring around, boom. And then the, no, it, gets, time, it gets to my next meeting and I haven't done one bit of prospecting. Yeah. And that's what's annoying me. And when I, I had eight clients on at once, so I was like, well, my whole fucking day was Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the uh, international finance expert, Jeremy Harper. Um, and we're going to talk about how 
earning an international income, whether that be in the USA, Emirates, wherever you are around the world, the effects that has on your lending capabilities, how the banks assess that income. And then also with interest rate drops and obviously the Australian dollar getting weaker against the US dollar, the effects that has on your lending capabilities. Correct. So if we look at a mortgage back two years ago at 400,000, uh, over 30 years P&I at 4.5%, your Australian repayments were just over $2,000 a month P&I, right. which was 1600 a month US dollars. Now, if we were to assume that that 100 points off the loan, so 3.5% on the $400,000 loan, we're looking at 1800 a month Aussie repayments. But for US, that's just over 1100 per month. Which is a massive decrease. Correct. So, so 30% down. Which means essentially if you're earning US dollars, you've just increased your service ability by 30%. Correct. Right? And the ability to smash off that. It's all to the other line. side. Exactly. So you can see it on the camera, my favourite flamingo shorts for the interview. So, it's unbelievable. I mean, you're really getting traction on a, uh, I think, from a consumer standpoint, from what I'm seeing, you've put yourself out there You've done a lot in eight weeks, and so today I really want to dive into that. I mean, how are you feeling now? Good, mate, really good. Um, excited, I am uh, motivated, driven, and obviously the more and more traction you get, the, the more and more, uh, I guess, confidence you get, and the more driven you get, and it just compounds and compounds like a snowball, right? Did you think you are gonna hit over 10 deals in eight weeks? No, so, uh, as we've spoken about a lot, my, my, my goal for the year was half a million GCI, which is, I think, a pretty um, sizable goal, right? First year in real estate, do half a million dollars in business is a pretty big deal. Um, and I've done almost 300 already, so. So GCI for people that are listening, it's gross commission income. That's right. So your, your goal was 500K for year one. Yeah. You're two months, just over two months in, and you're up to 300. Almost 300, yeah. Um, let, let's talk about obviously hiring people. Most people in business as such, I go, okay, I wanna hire a PA. Someone's got experience, let's go hire someone with experience. Um, I think a little bit contrarian to that. Like, I don't want someone who's got experience. A PA has core, uh, I guess, components to their job, and yeah. that's what they have to be good at. They don't need experience in that job. They need to be good with dealing with people, time management. Man. Like, Sam was from aviation. Yeah. Like, working with um, fighter jets. That was his job. Like, nothing to do with cameras. But he had a passion for photography. Um, he, he, he is... A person that is uh, driven to to be better, and I thought, well, if you already know how to pick a camera, it's not that hard. You you can learn on the job, and and you've got everything I need. So.